What you are about to see is the future of Aerotropolis CIDs. We'll take you on a journey to the possible future of area development. This is the master plan. Let's take a look at the Northern Crescent coming in from Atlanta, Georgia. Airport areas have seen the highest levels of net absorption, vacancy decreases, and rent growth. North Crescent is just one of the many CIDs throughout the Fulton County area. Throughout the North Crescent area alone are dozens of successful businesses. What are CIDs? CIDs, or Community Improvement Districts, is a district comprised of commercial and industrial property owners who have come together to voluntarily contribute to improvements in an area through additional property tax dollars. The additional property tax rate is determined by a board of directors as a representative of the property owners in an area. So I work for Duke Realty Corporation. Duke Realty, we're a national publicly traded real estate investment trust. You know, we have um, approximately 500 acres um, at the intersection of Camp Creek and 285. And so we have been invested in this community for over 10 years, um, building this, build, this business park from five buildings to now now 18 buildings. And so what was critical for us is still addressing a lot of the traffic and infrastructure issues for our tenants, making sure they can get out, their visitors can get out, and their businesses can function. Also to address a lot of the public safety issues that our tenants are dealing with in the area. So those are our two major issues for getting involved from the very beginning. Why were Aerotropolis Atlanta CIDs created? The Aerotropolis Atlanta CIDs are comprised of two CIDs, one in Fulton County and one in Clayton County. The CID in Fulton County was created in 2014, the one in Clayton County in 2015. Both CIDs saw a need for additional investment in the area surrounding Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. They saw a lot of potential for additional commercial and industrial development in the area but realized that more needed to be done to make the area attractive. My company is Chick-fil-A. I work in their corporate headquarters right off of Buffington Road. And the reason why we joined is that Chick-fil-A has always had a history of wanting to participate in the communities. We are actually a franchisor, so we have close to 2,000 restaurants, and we expect our franchisees to do the same. They we want them to get very active in their communities and support the communities and become members of Rotary and members of the business associations, etc. And we feel a similar responsibility in our community, so we're very active in trying to improve our district and, and do whatever we can to support the community. In 10 years, if, if, if the millennials were saying, man, I want to really be in Aerotropolis, that would be something. That's, that, to me, that would be a huge win for us if we could accomplish that. Northern Crescent. The Northern Crescent covers portions of Hapeville, East Point, and College Park. Property owners located in this area include, but are not limited to, Woodward Academy, Delta, Wells Fargo, and Porsche. Three opportunities for activity centers and continued development were identified in downtown College Park, along Virginia Avenue, and in downtown Hapeville. We'd like to see this area become increasingly beautiful. We'd like to make certain that everybody who comes here to live and work and play understands that it's a safe place to come. We'd like to make certain that it is an easy place for people to get around. So the wayfinding activities that the CID is involved in are going to be very important. The beautification of all of the interchanges is going to make it a much more welcoming place. Um, the new uh, Diverging Diamond Interchange at Camp Creek Parkway and Interstate 285 is going to make it much easier for people to come to this area. And anything that makes it easier for people to come to the airport area is going to benefit all of us who are doing business here. The GICC slash Gateway area includes a portion of College Park near the intersection of Camp Creek Parkway and US 29. College Park's Main Street, 
property owners and attractions include College Park's GICC, the airport's rental car center, Delta employee parking, and the Payless rental car location. This area was identified as a key area for redevelopment and continued hospitality development. Uh, you know, I think first is public safety. You know, we want to help create an environment that is safe and inviting for everybody that, that comes into the area. Uh, area beautification. Uh, you know, as you know, we are the, the front door to the world's busiest airport. And in turn, you know, we want to help shape an image that accurately reflects the, the full potential of the East area. East Camp Creek. The East Camp Creek area covers portions of College Park and East Point along Camp Creek Parkway from the I-285 interchanges east to Herschel Road. This area is primarily residential, but includes the parking spot, the parking spot 2, a hotel location currently under redevelopment, and a new development that will include a car wash and restaurants. Top three priorities for myself and why I wanted to join the CID is I saw a need for um, greater cohesiveness in the community with regards to security, uh, establishing a branding that will uplift the area, and then also, in this order, lighting and then wayfinding signage. The transit study. This transit study will be the next major planning study from the CIDs to focus on potential transit routes, but also potential technologies. As technology continues to advance, more efficient and cost-effective transit options are coming to the market. The CIDs are interested in implementing these cutting-edge technologies to the world's most traveled airport and give passengers an experience in a world-class city. Cowart Lake The Cowart Lake area covers the unincorporated Fulton County portion of the Aerotropolis Atlanta CIDs. Most of this area is consumed by the Piedmont Driving Club as well as undeveloped property. Two areas for development were identified one at the intersection of Camp Creek Parkway and Fairburn Road, and the other at Camp Creek Parkway and Butner Road. South Fulton. The South Fulton area covers College Park and Fulton County at South Fulton Parkway and Buffington Road. Property owners include Chick-fil-A, Mannheim Auto Auctions, and Coca-Cola Distribution. This area was identified as the entrance to the South Fulton Parkway corridor, an area that is seeing a lot of attention for future development. Therefore, gateway enhancements were identified as priority for this area. West Airport. The West Airport area covers a portion of College Park along US 29, Riverdale Road, Old National Highway, and Sullivan Road. Property owners include hotel and distribution slash warehousing, including, but not limited to, Atlanta Airport Marriott, Sheraton Atlanta Airport, Cisco, and Buckhead Beef. There is more potential for additional development, especially in warehousing. The CIDs found that increasing access and gateway enhancement in these areas as the primary projects. Say number one is probably just the overall infrastructure and beautification of the area. Uh, the road network, as in a lot of places in Atlanta, is in need of a lot of work and uh, updating. And a lot of other places in Atlanta that's already occurred, it hasn't really happened that much in around the airport as much as it needs to. Uh, so the CID has already taken steps to address that with Camp Creek Interchange and a few other things. And in beautification, we started cleaning up the parkway already, cleaning up signs, which has made a, a big change already. Um, lastly, I think just the overall effort of People coming together in the area and working towards common goals of not only infrastructure but also security and other aspects that are important to everybody. Phoenix Boulevard. The Phoenix Boulevard area covers a portion of College Park and unincorporated Clayton County along State Route 314, also known as West Fayetteville Road, Phoenix Boulevard, and Forest Parkway. Property owners include OA Development and Ackerman and Company to make up the Phoenix Boulevard Office Park. The master plan process found a need to create an activity node to support the offices in the area. In order to do so, projects include streetscaping and gateway enhancements. Well, we worked with our neighbors and friends at Ackerman and Company uh, on trying to get more leasing activity in the marketplace. And we found that 
the marketplace was sorely lacking in terms of identity, in terms of beautification, in terms of the way it was addressing public safety issues. And we learned together that the formation of a CID would be a great step in solving the community issues in front of us. And so Frank Farrell and myself and uh, a few others decided to get the CID formed. We were actually instrumental in getting it formed. In conclusion, the Aerotropolis Atlanta CIDs are at the beginning of an exciting time for the airport area. This area has the potential to be a first-class community that supports new business and provides amenities for its employees, residents, and visitors. The CIDs are continuing their partnership with the Aerotropolis Atlanta Alliance to join forces and provide services to the surrounding communities in order to attract more business, increase the workforce, and ultimately provide a thriving community.